Neck and back pain is the number one reason patients seek medical help. 50% of patients have referred pain, so the big challenge is to find the pain's source. She has scoliosis and has had back pain ever since she can remember in her 30s or so, 20s or 30s. There is no way with scoliosis that you can look at an MRI and say, well, I think <laughs> this one is the most probable site of your pathology. But her obviously hot regions are left S1, left L2, and right L5. And she got off the table saying, this is the first time in 40 years that I, my back pain's been totally gone. Clearly, that's the raison d'etre of this test. I mean, you know, you're going to be able to tell where the pain is all the time instead of just 75% of the time. NCS just did an outstanding job of picking up 141 out of 149 abnormal nerve root examination. And frankly, I think that NCS is the gold standard now because I believe the epidurogram may not pick up some pathology that an NCS will. <coughs> NCS is, is functional, whereas the epidurogram is an anatomical evaluation. This device has actually replaced the use of EMG and nerve conduction studies in my practice, except during, under unusual conditions. In my experience, it's much more accurate, much more sensitive in the diagnosis of radiculopathy. The biggest thing I've noticed that this how this machine has helped and made a difference in my practice is if and when it's appropriate to do the injection medication, what level it's most appropriate to do. Especially in those cases where the patient comes in with symptomatology on one side, but the exam lights up a nerve that's hot on the opposite side, and inject uh, the opposite side of the pain, and the pain goes away, and they get better. Small Pain Fiber NCS offers a painless, simple test the doctor or nurse can perform on an entire region, such as the low back or neck, in about 15 minutes. It has sensitivity approaching 100%. The potentiometer electrode is placed on the patient's spine. A ground sponge is soaked with water and placed under the patient. The test probe is fitted with the end of a cotton swab and dipped in saline. The test follows a chart of standardized test sites which correlate with specific peripheral nerves associated with specific nerve roots. Each of these sites is tested by holding the electrode steadily against the site and turning up the dial incrementally until the nerve has fired as verified by the patient and the potentiometer. The patient is his own control, so accuracy approaches 100%. As compared to tests where findings are compared to population averages on a bell-shaped curve, no averaging is required. The data is entered into the software for analysis. Although surrounding nerves may be affected, the highest is the pathology. The report is automatically generated. The report shows the significant findings. The diagnostic summary is quite generic and can be edited by the doctor with information specific to the patient. The reader is given the basic importance of findings and what they can mean. I must admit when I first looked at devices looking at pregangliotic fibers, I was skeptical. I was quite pleased after the first several weeks after using the device that the results were quite reliable, reproducible and extremely accurate. Uh, we had the uh, device demonstrated in our clinic here at LSU and uh, we were impressed. We were impressed not only with the uh, way it was able to diagnose problems on our patients, but we had some of our staff with problems too that uh, uh, were diagnosed. So after that initial exposure to it, we used it uh, on a trial basis for a few months and uh, our, our impressions were warranted. It was a great device and we kept it. We now use it on all our patients.